Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the final video on the Deadman Mode Tournament. The final hour, or the final five hours if you watch the whole live stream. Yes, this was another installment in drama mode. <laughs> it was an interesting final hour to say the least. A lot of glitches, a lot of, yeah, mess ups. I figured I owe it to all you guys to upload my perspective and throw in some opinions on the final hour, that sort of thing, on the week in general, on Deadman Mode as a whole. So I'll throw up my perspective in the background of this video and just talk over it. I couldn't really talk too much on stage because I didn't feel like the mic was really good enough to make video content. Oh yeah, I was playing live on stage if anyone didn't realise already, but I'm assuming most people know by now. And that, and that was a really cool experience. It was really good to meet a lot of other people. A lot, I met some of my friends, I met a lot of new faces as well. And yeah, despite the outcome, it was a really fun weekend in general. So how did the final hour play out for me? Well, I'm actually in the Full Blazers Alliance. I'm a member of Blazers. And us and fools have been locking down quests during the tournament, such as Shiloh Village, which blocks Vengeance, Pisces, Dragon Slayer 2. You know it, it's been talked about all tournament, controversial topic, but it did succeed and work really well. Which meant that I thought the multi fights in the final hour would be very hard, especially seeing as fools and blazers only have around 150 members combined. However, at the last minutes, GG, or Gimme Gimme, came over from the other side and decided to join our alliance in the final hour. I'm not entirely sure of the clan politics, but... I don't think they were being treated too well in the other alliance. This definitely evened up the numbers somewhat, but I do think we were still outnumbered by the other alliance, i.e. the rest of the world. I'm not too sure on that though. The numbers seemed kind of similar to me. Anyway, the multi-fight went really well for me. It was so easy. I don't know, I was expecting it to get terribly. I was fully expecting to die in multi. I had tons of people absolutely flaming me out all week saying they were going to take my head off in multi, snipe me, you know, like, <laughs> just all that abuse really. Like, tons of... Honestly, a lot of people running up to me in game and telling me I was guaranteed dead. But in the final hour, I only actually sipped, I think, two brews overall. And I I, I probably could have sipped none. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty easy. Our team was just chasing them all the way around Falador. I was sat in the middle getting 200 mil mage from barrages. And yeah, everyone who's been giving me abuse all week, nowhere to be seen, really. I just think that some people need to take a bit of a step back sometimes. And remember that RuneScape is a game. It's supposed to be fun. Like, I'm having fun. I really don't mind what people think and say about me. I mean, I literally upload clips of me having a panic attack, shaking and dying. So, like, so when people end up flaming me, it's like, what? I'm the one that uploaded it. I obviously don't mind. My advice would be people should leave their ego at the door. No matter if it's RuneScape, if it's real life or anything, if you drop your ego, you're going to have so much more enjoyment out of everything you do. Anyway, I didn't mean for this to turn into a counselling session, I'm sorry. Back to the Devil Mode tournament. We did really well in multi, and then, as you've probably seen, we ended up dying to a glitch. Yeah, that's right, everyone from Falador Multi was teleported to the 1v1 stage, and then insta-killed by gas. Now, this is obviously a glitch, I was logged out straight out of the game, didn't know what was happening, looked around me on stage, skill specs had also had the same thing happen to him. And long story short, this bug meant that I couldn't log back into the tournament, which was very frustrating. I've obviously spent over 100 hours on this tournament, building my account up and then even more training and practicing for this tournament. And I really wanted to prove myself in the one versus ones. And my honest opinion is that with a dragon crossbow, the bolts with Pi 2 and max tank gear in a tank ranger setup, I could have gone extremely far. It's up to you whether you believe that. And I don't mind if you're doubtful, but I think the people that fed me the gear know that I would have also gone far. So it's frustrating to go down to a glitch, something out of my control. I feel awful for everyone else that this glitch happened to because for me, while it's bad, it's, it's not the end of the world. I still make money off the tournament from my YouTube views, my Twitch viewership and everyone's generous support. And I got a free weekend to Leicester to go on stage and all that sort of stuff. And I really enjoyed myself. For a lot of the other people, I really think there, sh there needs to be compensation because people pour a lot of hard work into this tournament. And yeah, for it all to be taken away completely out of their hands is awful really. I think pretty much everything about the glitch has already been said. Obviously beta test, it's pretty obvious where it went wrong, etc, etc. It's really frustrating because I feel like Deadman Mode tournaments have got to a point where they are really good and I quite like the structure of it all. And the last two have run relatively smoothly. Even though half the players got gassed at Falador, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the tournament. I think Full Blazers still would have won. Pity advantage and Dragon Crossbows and the Dragon Bolt advantage is just too strong for people to counteract. And that really did show with the top 16 all being Full Blazers. But it does obviously suck not having the full array of competition out there. Anyway, huge congrats to Manked and Allo. Manked came second, Allo came third slash fourth, meaning that Blazers took home 11k. I'll be getting a split of that, so 
I was happy to see all our guys do really well on stage and off stage. Huge shout outs to you all. But for now, I'll be back to my regular content. I don't think I'll play the season. I'm going to take a few days off because I played far too much RuneScape in one week and I can't go straight back into the season. That's definitely one of the flaws with it, in my opinion. Hope you all had a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one.